Hi, I am Dr. Arun Prasad. I am a senior consultant surgeon at Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. I do robotic surgery for bariatrics, for chest and for GI. One of the main reasons why I like robotic surgery is because of the three-dimensional vision that we get which is magnified 20 times and this combined with the extreme degree of articulation gives us a very good precise and accurate control over the instruments and the tissues especially when it comes to stitching also we have the advantage of the robotic arms lifting up the abdominal wall so you know patient who is what we call as super obese who is weighing say 200 250 kilograms as opposed to laparoscopy here the robotic arms are what are going to lift up the abdominal wall and give us that tremendous advantage the view is much better because it's a three dimensional view as compared to traditional laparoscopy and of course the ability of the robotic instruments the tips to move in 360 degree gives us a lot of advantage as we are talking about surgery compared to open surgery where also we can use your arms but you can see how my finger can only move in one direction it can move backwards or sideways which is possible by again the robotic fingers robotic bariatric surgery is where i see a lot of advantages in the super obese to be able to precisely do the surgery <coughs> then there are surgeries like in the pelvis for example carcinoma of the rectum where we do an anterior resection there also the 3d vision ability to dissect and suture in remote areas is of a great advantage esophagectomy is another surgery and of course thymectomy thymectomy is my favorite thoracic robotic surgery whereby with the 3d vision and the articulation one can remove the entire thymus very precisely and accurately in a time frame which is far less than if we were to do it by vats or by open thoracotomy there are a few operations which i have done where the advantage of the robot has been tremendous there was one patient i remember who required a hepatico jejunostomy with a biliary structure so we were able to do the adhesial lysis laparoscopically but when it came to do the anastomosis between the hepatic duct and the jejunum i used the robotic suturing and that gave us a very good advantage there was another patient i remember who had a tumor at the gastroesophageal junction and we were able to do a very good precise dissection the experience of bariatrics and esophagectomy came in handy there too we have also done other complex pancreatic and bowel surgeries robotically which would have been extremely difficult if we had to do them either laparoscopic or open a lot of people have the misconception that the robot does the surgery but that's not true as you saw it's the instruments are all controlled by the surgeon and it are it is my fingers which has to do the surgery and the decision making is by the surgeon people think about or have the misconception that docking takes a lot of time but with my trained OT staff here we take about a minute maximum two minutes to dock the robot also when we talk about robot uh, people have the concept that robot is going to be very expensive but if we look at a very wide overall scenario where we are able to reduce hospital stay reduce complications and if we take the sum total the cost is not that much of a difference here and we would be doing injustice to the technology if we were to condemn it right now we have three choices as i said one is that you can condemn the robot second is you can ignore the robot and third is you can participate in the process of evaluation and developing the robot so that finally we are able to achieve a technology which is beneficial to the patient and to the society at large. Thank you very much.